In about 30 minutes, we'll find out if NASA will push forward with launching its mega moon rocket on Tuesday. Officials will release the findings from a fuel test this week, which was called an overall success. But the agency is still waiting on a waiver from the Space Force, and now they need to contend with a tropical depression, tropical depression 9's development. News 6's James Barvero live with us now from the Kennedy Space Center with more. James. We'll start with that weather, Justin. So the Space Force is saying it this morning that their new release shows that there's an 80% chance of a weather violation on Tuesday with the possibility of tropical storm force winds here at Kennedy Space Center. Definitely not good. The Space Force's next forecast will come out tomorrow. Of course, the weather forecast can change for the better or the worse. Also on the Space Force, we've told you so much about how they still need to give NASA the permission to even launch, have the chance of launching on that window Tuesday because the rocket never rolled back to the vehicle assembly building to recertify its flight termination batteries. And lastly, yes, NASA called the test the other day a success, but there were two issues that would have stopped the rocket from launching on a real launch day. First, it takes a lot of time to work through a hydrogen leak, and so NASA would have missed its opportunity with a window. And also at the same time, NASA says enough hydrogen leaked during a pressure test that it would have stopped a real countdown. Now, nevertheless, NASA says they accomplished everything they set out to do in that eight or nine hours of testing. So at the bottom of the hour, NASA will give us its update. Will it press forward with trying to launch next Tuesday despite bad weather, or they have a backup opportunity on Sunday, October the 2nd? The issue there may be they're within 24 hours of the next SpaceX crew of astronauts going to the International Space Station. That's the Crew-5 launch, which is currently scheduled for Monday, October the 3rd. So NASA has some really big decisions and a really big update to tell us, and that comes in at the bottom of the hour. We will stream it live on ClickOrlando.com, and our next update on News 6 will come at 4 o'clock. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparbero, getting results News 6.